Always got to keep the camera rolling. Let me show you this big beauty here. If I can get him without getting hurt. Big. Oh, he's strong. Look at that beauty. Look at the size of that. That's a beauty. I'll show you. Maybe I can get lucky over here and show you on camera. But uh, a couple of them. <laughs> some good eating right there. All I need is two, three of them. I'll show you how I got him. Just want to show you. Right there is where I usually do my recording. And I'm over here by the islands. It's a beautiful part of the lake. Really beautiful. I call it a lake, like I said, but anyway. There's another island over there. With those uh, evergreens on it. Yeah, and somewhere back over there is where the spring feeds the lake. It is a uh, clean, fresh water lake. Always being replaced, the water is. I just wanted to take you on a walk with me. See how beautiful and quiet it is here. Just stop for a minute and listen. There's nothing. Just peace. So there's a lot of dead wood in there. Perfect bass cover. You can see the uh, ripples in the water. There's a lot of fish, fish action right there. A lot of activity right there. But bass, that's for another t a later date. Right now, we're getting sunfish and bluegill. Well, there's a big bass right there. Can you see him? Not sure if you saw him. Won't see till I check the computer later. He's right. He's looking at me. That's a nice looking fish. There's bigger in here though. That's a small one compared to some of them in this this lake. All right, so I'm over here. I'm gonna set up the camera for you. I'm gonna pause and set up the tripod. There's a the keeper. That's a good one. Now I'll show you in a minute what I'm using. Oh, weird, there's a spider on his eye. Oh, weird is that? <sighs> nice fish. Now, because it's early season, and these are aggressive fish, what I've got here is a bobber just about a foot down from a jig head with a piece of worm because they're not really hitting on the lures right now this early in the year they're uh, they're really lazy fish so you've got to entice them so I've got this this bobber set up here okay and what I do is I have to just slowly move it just got to give them a little bit of action you want to entice them to to hit This is, uh, for this, every, every lake, every pond I've noticed is a little bit different. But for this one here, you need to give them a little bit of action. And there I just got a hit. Look at that. He is taking it deep. Sure hope that shows up on the camera. Uh, look at that pretty fish there. Beautiful fish. I'm not sure if you're seeing everything I'm get, doing out here. I'm not sure if I had the camera set right, so I'm going to do another round here. It's really bright out, so I can't really see if you can see what I'm doing. There, already got a hit. Had one. Got one. I'm 
Not too bad. Now, let me show you how to get a panfish off without hurting yourself. This is important. Watch me mess up as I'm showing you. You gotta first hold the line. I'm trying to show you on camera. So you get, get slide your hand down until you get your hand firmly on the hook. Firmly on that hook. Okay. I'm trying to show you on camera. Slide your hand. All right, what you do is slide your hand along the back fins because he's got spikes on his back and he'll hurt you. You slide your hand down and cup it and cup him like this, okay? Then what you've done is essentially folded back all of his fins so he can't hurt you. It's awkward to do on camera while I'm showing you. If you don't do that, he can flop and spike you and then you can take the uh, the hook and firmly take it off. That's, that's important because... Uh, I'll tell you what, I've been hooked a few times and I've been spiked quite a few times. Let me see if I can move you up closer to the water and get some good action here of watching a fish come up. Try to see uh, if we can get you some good action shots here of me catching one of these fish. We'll be eating well tonight. See a bobber just hit the water. I'm just giving it some light motion. A little slow reeling in. Got one. I saw him take it. And he let go. Bummer. I didn't set the hook because sometimes they're not swallowing the hook hard. So uh, they're really lipping it a lot. And this one was exactly a prime example. They often just lip it. And they don't really um, have it in their mouth firmly. Hit him. Look at those little fish fight. Look at that little fish fight. That's a beauty. Huh? Look at the color on that. Isn't that nice? Oh, that's a pretty fish. Pee on me. Now often you'll have to reset that that worm. He's getting pretty ripped up, and that's just a tiny piece of a worm. There's not much on there. It doesn't take much for the panfish, and just reset that so you don't lose it. You can keep using that all day long. I'm going to be quitting here in a few minutes because i got enough fish for the day. Just uh, five, ten minutes of fishing in one of these quiet backwoods ponds and you're good to go. And if you're hungry and you're fishing for survival, you don't want to play around. I'll show you later on another video how you get worms for free in the woods. Sometimes you want to pull it away because there's just little ones around your line. You don't want the little fish. So you just take it away from them. Ah. 
there that's a nice one too look at that beauty beautiful fish look at that The reason I pull back is if he if he jumps and you've got tension on his body and on the hook, you can get snagged. I don't want that. There's one right in front of me. I want to see if I can catch that, that thing. There's a beauty right in front of me. I want you. Not you, the big one. That's it. Well, there's dinner for a couple meals right there. That's about a good two to three meals right there. Not bad for about 10-15 minutes of work. Now it's time to go home and clean them. Well, this is Troy from TR Tech Tactical. And that's how you get panfish out of a small lake or large pond. Just using a uh, little jig head and a bobber, you could use a fish hook, but the jig head gives me some weight. Gives me some good uh, casting weight to get that line out there for me nicely. And the bobber I just had double hooked on there, top and bottom. Tiny little bobber, doesn't need much in that little jig head. And a little piece of worm that you can scrape up out of the leaves somewhere. And that's it, that's all the fishing gear you need for fishing out here in the pond. Hope you enjoyed this fishing trip as much as I did. I know I'm going to be enjoying it more in a little while when I get that grill going. Well, see you guys later.